In this video, I'm gonna show you how to archive issues inside of Jira. This is a really cool new feature that I think you're gonna like, and I'm gonna cover a couple of use cases, tell you when you would wanna archive versus delete versus transition. I'm gonna go over all the details in this video, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like, and more importantly, check out those links down below, because if you have any doubts, any questions, or any help that you need, I have a link tree down below so that you can get some time with me, and I also have a couple of cool things like my merch, I have paid courses, free courses, a book, and so much more to offer you. So check out that link tree down below, and let's jump into Jira, and let's talk about how to archive issues in Jira. So here we are inside of Jira, and the functionality that I'm talking about is you're gonna be able to open up an issue. I'm just gonna open up any issue at random, and when you click on the three dots on the far right corner, we have the ability to archive. Now, before you come at me in the comments and go, wait, I can't archive, let me give you some of the basics and some of the foundations that need to be in place for you to be able to archive because not everybody can archive and I'm gonna show you what you need to know there and then we'll cover some use cases as to when you should archive versus when you should delete and or other methods. So let's start off with the basics. So first of all, this archive capability is now a permission. So your project administrator needs to go into your project settings and they have to confirm under permissions, go down to the archive issue section and they need to make sure that you have the right role or that you're in the right group to be able to archive issues. In this particular example, you have to be in the role of administrator and so your project admin would have to go to people and they would have to add you here in the people section so that you can then have that permission. Now, if you don't have this capability, right, if your archive is just not there at all, then that most likely means you're not on the premium version of Jira, and this is a different problem you're gonna wanna solve with your Jira admin or your finance department because you do need to be on the uh, more expensive version of Jira to be able to do this. Now, the other caveat that I'm gonna tell you is that if you have the premium and you still can't archive, but you have the right role, then you may need to talk to your Jira admin so that they can configure the permission scheme altogether because it might just not be configured correctly. And so maybe talk to your Jira admin. But assuming you've gone through those hoops, assuming you do have the right permission and assuming your project is on premium and everything's good and everything's kosher, then all you need to do is go into an issue, any issue that you want, and you open it up and you click on the three dots here and you simply click on archive. This is gonna be a new feature. Now, when you do archive something, you're gonna get this little pop that says, hey, you're about to archive the issue, but notice something very interesting. Notice something that is much, much different than when you go to delete something. Unlike the delete, which is completely permanent, when you archive, you're gonna click this yellow button and this issue has disappeared, poof. So very much like when we delete an issue, except one big giant caveat. On the left hand side, you may have noticed that there's this archived issue section. So when you click on that, you're gonna be able to see your archived issues and you're gonna be able to restore them should you ever need to bring them back from this archived bin. Now this fundamentally is also controlled by another permission. So there's that be able to archive permission and then there's the be able to restore. I recommend if you're watching this and you're a Jira admin, open up your archivable permission to, I wouldn't say everybody, but to a lot of people. Um, most people should be able, at least your scrum masters, your product managers, your project managers, definitely your like your project lead, team leads, key stakeholders, they should be able to archive. I wouldn't say open it up to everybody that has access to the project, that might be a little too chaotic. Things might just start disappearing on you, but definitely key players, I'd open it up to them. But then the ability to restore, the ability to restore these archived issues, I would restrict that to just like an administrator, maybe just even your Jira admins if you want to carry that burden, um, but definitely a much smaller subset of people should be able to restore. So now that we know how to archive and how to restore, let's talk about what case, right? In which situation would we be, oh, we have a story, we have a task, and we go to this action menu, and we have to make a decision. Do we archive or do we delete? So let's talk about that for a second. What's the difference? So the delete is easiest to tackle. When you delete an issue, it is permanently gone. It is not stored anywhere. 
There's no backup unless you have a backup solution like Revise, not a sponsored, but a huge support of the channel. Unless you have a, a some sort of backup solution, once you hit delete, those issues are gone forever. There's nothing. There's no support. There's no Atlassian ticket you can submit to bring that back. So deleting is something that is very, very much permanent, very, very much forever. Now, the archive, this is why we like this key feature, because prior to this feature being rolled out, the only other thing you can do if you didn't want to delete was move the issue to another project if you wanted to still retain historical purposes, or you would have to transition it to like a canceled or won't do status, or maybe just even a done status with a resolution of won't do. The problem there is when you would transition it, it's still in your sprint and your burn down um, got, gave you credit for work that technically nothing was done on. And deleting it was really the only option you had was to poof it out of existence without going through the gears and system that is Jira and 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 not get the false credit, right? So you, you'd get like a false positive. So that was not a really good option. Neither really were good options, deleting or transitioning to some sort of a, a done status, right? So I'm really, really happy that Atlassian has introduced this archive capability because now if somebody makes a mistake, you don't have to delete it. You don't have to transition it. And my default, like how do we work around not deleting and not transition was always to just repurpose the story, right? Rename it, re, re put in a new description, right? But that was also annoying. So it's kind of cool that you can now preserve that story, archive it and store it in that archive bin and still be able to reference it, right? Still be able to go back there and look and go, hmm, we've actually had this problem before and it's there. Because if you ever delete it, well, you can't reference it ever again. And when you move it to done, it just goes, right? You're, you're moving so many things to done eventually that it just falls into this abyss. And when you repurpose it, right? When you rename it, well, you lose that history too. And so this is, I think, the best possible uh, outcome for us is that we can now archive these issues. Unfortunately, again, it is tied behind that paywall. You will need to be on the premium version of Jira to be able to do this. But maybe this capability, if you're running into this situation a lot, it might make it worth you doubling your bill. Now, keep in mind, you also get a bunch of other stuff like AI, plans, um, and a bunch of like a sandbox of so some other cool stuff you get when you do get the premium version of Jira. But this is now just one more little extra feature that you do get when you're uh, paying a lot for Jira. So anyways, that's it for this video. If you need any help configuring, right, if you're just not able to archive issues, but you're like, Alex, what the heck's going on? I thought I crossed my T's. I thought I dotted my I's, but it's still not working. Use that link tree down in the description below. I have the ability to come and help you. And we can do 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, however much time you need. I'll help you out with your Jira problem. So use that link tree down below. And of course, while you're there, check out my free courses, my paid courses, my merch, my book, and all the other resources that I have available for you. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next one.